Controlling the throttle in your FPV drone is one of the hardest, if not the hardest thing to really master. I don't think there's a pilot out there that'll tell you they've truly mastered throttle control. There's always room for improvement. I think anybody would tell you that. But how do you do that? How do you actually improve your throttle control in an efficient way that you can see tangible results. Well, I do already have one video on throttle control that you can go ahead and watch, but this video is gonna take that a little bit further and refine those skills a little bit more. Now, I just recently discovered this little drill that you can do that kind of trains in the ability to modulate your altitude a little bit better, to control that throttle a little bit better. I will say before we get started, this is a little bit more of an advanced drill just because rewinds are not really a beginner trick. And it's not because rewinds are particularly hard per se they just require a little bit more precision and feeling of the momentum of the quad that a lot of beginners just don't quite have yet so if you're a beginner watch the other video i have on throttle control that's a little bit more suited to you so what you want to do this is kind of a two-step process with two different levels of difficulty the first one is to find a light pole or something like this some tall cylindrical circular type object that you can rewind around and you want to find like a, a straight visual reference right next to it. So in this example, it's this curb, right? It's really long, it's really straight, easy to see when you're in the goggles. And what you wanna do is just come up to the left, hook around and rewind back out, and same thing on the right. So come up from the right, hook around, rewind back out. And the whole goal is to try and regulate your altitude as much as you possibly can. You don't want wild swings. You don't want to go too high or too low. You want to stay right at the same altitude that you entered the rewind. And the other part is you want to stay relatively aligned with this straight visual reference. You don't want to veer too far off so it looks like that. And you don't want to veer too far off the other way so it looks like that. So try to rewind just perfectly straight out. And the next level is you want to find an obstacle like this, like this tree, where it's got a little opening. I can get my fingers in there. It's got that little opening, right? You got the ground, then you got four or five feet up or whatever altitude you want to practice, a layer of branches or some other obstacle. And that is gonna really, really help you focus on modulating your altitude specifically. So pick your poison. If you want to work on mostly alignment, find something like this. If you want to work on specifically altitude, find something like that. And if you want to take it a step further even, find like a, a long hallway that's really wide and really tall and practice in there. That'll force you to have perfect alignment and perfect altitude control. But that's outside my pay grade, that's outside of the scope of this video. Well, first step, find yourself an obstacle like this light pole with a curb next to it or some, maybe like a parking spot line or something like that, something straight that you can use as a visual reference. And what you want to do is just practice rewinds. So go in, stop, and hook back around. And same thing on the other side. And the goal is to try and stay as aligned as possible with this curb or whatever your object is and to moderate your altitude as best you can. So let's try a couple reps here. Go up, stop, hook back around. See there I gained too much altitude. Let's try it again. That was a little better. One more. I'm getting really deep into that rewind. Then that was pretty good. So what you can do is just try both sides Try the left and the right side of the object, see which one you have more trouble with, and focus on that side. So after doing this for a while, I've realized that I have more trouble with the left side for some reason. So I'm gonna focus on training that. There I got too low. And maybe you find that you kinda, you kinda equally suck at both. So what you can do then is just alternate. So go here, come back to a center point, and go right into the next one. Hook around, center point, right into the next one. And this is a really efficient trick too in terms of power usage, because it doesn't take much power and you can just grind this for a long, long time on the same battery. Okay, so that's level one. That is just 
trying rewinds, trying to hold altitude and alignment with nothing above you. But let's say you're really struggling with that altitude aspect, maybe you're getting it way too high. This is what you do to train that. Find another obstacle, like this tree, with, you know, five feet, 10 feet, you know, start, start higher than lower for sure and work your way down. So find an object like this with a little opening below with the same visual alignment cue. So again, we got this curb here and just do the exact same thing. I'm gonna start from over here. I feel like it gives me a little bit more room. So let's start on the left, go in, hook around. Now we got that branch, so we gotta watch out. Try it again. Got to be really careful about that. And just do the same thing. Just alternate and try to stay aligned. Go left, right, left, right. And again, if you see that you suck more on one side, focus on that side. Oh, I got too high. <laughs> Go around. Ah, that was bad. Let's go again. That was pretty good. I think also try to go at the same depth into your rewinds. So you can focus on that precision. So I'm trying to go like halfway halfway uh, between the tree. So go up halfway, stop, and rewind out of it. Now my alignment's getting messed up, so I gotta fix that. That's a little better. But I've been doing this for almost six minutes on one battery and I still got battery left. So it's a really, really efficient trick. You can just grind hundreds of these, you know, in a day of flying with your batteries. And that's what makes it really nice. I gotta be careful not to hit that light pole. I gotta land, battery's low. So after you've tried that a couple times, you might be thinking, wow, this is really hard. Maybe you're ending up too high. Maybe you're crashing into the ground or maybe you're just veering off course. Now really what you're looking for with this drill is to see a pattern. Are you going too high all the time? Are you going too low all the time? Or are you getting off center? Look for a pattern and how you're messing this up and adjust accordingly. So for example, if you find that you are too high after doing this rewind, what does that mean? Well, that can be kind of two things. One, you're adding too much throttle for too long, or you're adding throttle at the wrong time. Or maybe you're ending up too low. Well, the solution there is kind of the opposite. Add a little bit more throttle, or play with the actual time you put on the throttle. That might be your problem. Okay, well that's gonna do it for this kind of trick drill tutorial. I hope this helps somebody out there. I have found through my time that just flying around is not really good enough to improve. You really need to focus on specific skills or specific things that you're having trouble with and just put the reps in. Do it over and over and over until you finally get that down and you get a little bit better feel for what you're trying to do. This is a great way to do that. I want to do more things like this. So I think for that reason I'm going to start like a, a tricks drill tutorial. I'm just going to try and find different drills that I use that help me and share them with you guys because I really think that's the, the best way to learn. Focus on individual, tiny little specific things and master those. And then before you know it, when you've mastered all these little skills, you'll find that your flying improves in general. But if you enjoyed this video and you tried this out and you found that it actually does help, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your feedback. And if you have any other ideas like this that might help a specific skill, I think that's really important. So until next time, keep ripping, keep wrecking, and keep learning. Peace.
Some wars to fight 